hostage and I have hijacked this beautiful show. Before we begin, I want you all to subscribe. Go ahead and turn your phone vertical, find that subscribe button, hit it. Okay, now that you have, let's continue this video. So, we're gonna be cooking our household's favorite bacon and let's get started. This here is the best bacon ever, okay? Trust me when I say it. It's called Tender Belly. All right, so our pan is heated here, and we're gonna go ahead and put the bacon strips onto the pan. Now, are you an expert at cooking oh, bacon? Oh no, never done this in my entire life. <laughs> but, but, but you've had the bacon before, oh, right? I've had the bacon many times. Well, a few times because I haven't been home because I've been at school, but since I've been home, I've had it quite a few times. I should say that you know, there's a pandemic going on right now with the coronavirus and your school shut down, right? That is correct, yeah. So you're doing classes from home on yeah, yeah. Zoom? On Zoom. Can I put another one on there? Yeah, let's see. Nah, right? Uh, yeah, it'll be a little too tight. All right. Yep, so everything's on Zoom, remote. So everything's online, right? Yes. And uh, you play college softball. I do, in fact. And what happened uh, this year, this season? Yeah, so we were in Florida um, doing our spring trip, and we essentially got all the news while we were in Florida that uh, softball season was going to get canceled and that our semester was going to be entirely remote. So that was an interesting spring break. So you were in Florida because there's a tournament, a spring tournament mm -hmm. there. Yeah, really big spring tournament. A lot of teams go to Florida because of the weather. Um, yeah, so we were out there playing ball. And then you play like 10 games in the tournament? Yeah, about 10 games. But none of those are conference games, right? No. So they canceled the season before any of the conference games were played? Yeah, so I, we had just essentially played those like 10 games and the season was cut out. Normally we play closer to like 35, um, it's been 40 before, but yeah, so season definitely cut short. And the NCAA announced that for college spring athletes, you get an extra year of eligibility. Yeah, extra year of eligibility. Um, a lot of seniors already have like what they want to do already planned out, so a lot of them aren't taking that extra eligibility, um, but they do offer it. But if they went back to graduate school, they'd be able to play for a year. Yeah, there's a six year time limit though. So once you start playing your first year of collegiate softball, you have six years to do it. So um, if they go out and do their own thing after they graduate for two years, it's done. Okay. So this is what we would call in the business cutting to the B-roll, which would is gonna be some softball video. So here we go. All count here to Arissa Cleveland. Olivera standing at first. Nobody out, tie game. Cleveland sends a drive deep right center field, and that will be game. Arissa Cleveland, two run, walk off home run in the bottom of the seventh. And the Spartans are going to split the series here on Friday with NYU as they win game number two, five to three, in a bottom of the seventh walk off home run from Arissa Cleveland, and you knew that was gone as soon as it left the bat. Now back to the top of the order, Arissa Cleveland. Cleveland singled, came around to score back in the fifth, and she rips that one foul. Nobody on, two outs. And the pitch to the center fielder. Ripped into deep right center field. Elliott's back, looking up, and it's out of here. Arissa Cleveland, home run number three. And now there's a three-run lead in the bottom of the six for the Spartans after the two-out homer. With runners at first and second for Case Western, so now Arissa Cleveland bats leading off with nobody in front of her on the base path, so that's... A nice development for Stoner and Wash U. Cleveland's one for two, singled and stole the base, stranded at third her last time up. This pitch is high for a ball. And a family member says, well, I think that was Cleveland City's first spelling of it. As a rest, this is one deep in the center field. 
That's going to be trouble, and it's over the back. <laughs> We'll save the discussion for how Cleveland got its name and how it was spelled in just a moment as Arissa, meanwhile, has parked one in the center field fence, a solo shot. Oh oh All right, so uh, hit a few home runs last year. Just a couple, yeah. Yeah, that was I fun. I hit three or four, yeah. Definitely, fun. definitely fun. Sure. You remember what your batting average was? Uh, not the season here that just got ended, you know, at the beginning, but mm -hmm. the, the full season. I think that was somewhere around 406. Yeah, yeah 406 batting average. So, yeah. pretty good. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, good year for me. Very proud of you. Mm -hmm. All right, so how's the bacon coming along? Looking good. I think we should start turning it, right? All right, give it a turn. All right, a little clipsy doozle. How long have you been buying this for? Uh, we've. I want to say maybe a year or something like that. And we had a bunch of uh, my friends over. We played golf and then we came here for breakfast and we made biscuits, homemade biscuits and waffles and everything. And everybody was raving about the bacon. So it is really some standout bacon. So what are we going to do with this bacon after we get it cooked? Make a BLT. A BLT. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. One of the best ways to eat bacon. Well, it's crazy times right now, but hopefully, uh, and probably if you're like me and most everyone, you've been watching a ton of news on the pandemic. Hopefully this will be a, a brief distraction for everyone while we're making bacon. All right, so now we're just gonna cut our tomato. We're gonna do another flipsy doodle here. Looking good, looking good. Good? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> how about this move? How, how about this one? Ready? Just act natural. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> what are we thinking? I think you need to turn the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fair. We're almost done. Maybe a minute or so on this side. All right, so it's looking good right here. So we're gonna take it off. Oh, or are we? Oh, gonna make that look pretty, but it's not. Are you gonna try your bacon there? Yes, I've been itching to. All right, this guy looks like the one. That's some juicy bacon. It's really good. It's just, and it's got some spice to it, really. Mm -hmm. it a does. little, a little bit of kick. Mm. It's one of the most flavorful bacon's I've ever had. For sure, it if is. If not the, you it know. is really good. And we have no affiliation with this company. No, nope, not sponsored. Although, if you want to sponsor us, <laughs> we're not stopping you. Mm -hmm. Do you have more space around on top? Uh, probably space them out, but that's all right. All right, now it's time to assemble. So we get our plates. We have this lovely artisan bread. And I'm going to take a handful of this, make a lovely little bed. We call this a little lettuce, spring lettuce. Wow. Sure, we'll call it spring lettuce. And then a tomato. And then some chipotle mayonnaise. Do you put this on before or after? Put it on the bread side. Okay. And then... And a happy face. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of a happy face. Yeah, let's... <laughs> we'll let them be the judge of that. It's okay. something. It's something. Okay. Undeniably something. Okay. Alright, so then we're going to take a piece of bacon. Turn it here. Put that there. Should we put it in little piece or is that fine? Uh, yeah, go ahead. We've got enough, right? Yep, sure do. Or at least another half. There we go. All right. There's your BLT. Should I take a bite? Yep, go for it. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Oh, very good. Awesome.
Bon appetit, bacon lovers. Hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and hit the notification button to get notifications. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Ha, ha, ha.